praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that was what Paul was trying to paint his people. He was painting Christ to them. Painting Christ to them. Let them see Christ the more. 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 As they are seeing Christ, keep professing what Christ calls you. As you are seeing Christ, keep calling yourself what Christ calls you. Are you getting it? So even when most times you are still falling, it's not for you to be saying, Oh, I'm a sinner. Oh, this guilt is too much. It's like I've fallen. I'm no longer in God's family. No, guys, what? Those are nonsense. Don't say that. Those are what? Nonsense. What you should be saying is that I'm the righteousness of God. Even in that form. Do you hear me? Did you hear me? Yes. Keep professing what he says you are. That's why I told you to say what you were saying in the beginning. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. So whatever the Bible, whatever God says I am, that is who I am. You agree with God whatever God says you are. You agree with God whatever God says you can do. You agree with God whatever God says you have. If you don't agree and you're telling God that God says you are the righteousness of God and then you now come before him and say, Father, I'm a sinner. You're a rebellious child. You're what? A rebellious child. He's saying you are righteous and you are telling me, I'm a sinner. <laughs> Do you know what that means? That means you're telling me that I'm not the one that gave birth to you. <laughs> you get the point? Because sinners are children of devil. So I tell that you are my child, and then you tell me that you are a child of the devil? Me that adopted you with the blood of my son? Yeah. And you tell him that you are a child of the devil? Can you see the picture now? Can you see the picture now? So don't tell God that you are a sinner. That was who you were before. That's not who you are now. Because you believe. Are you getting the point? Are you getting the point? Yes, sir. It is rebellious to say what God did not say about you. Do you remember the time when God told the children of Israel that they were going to take over the Canaan land? Is it not? And then Moses sent some spies to them. God showed me a revelation from that story. They don't they pursue me, they say, Man, come out, but let me give you some clear thing before I want to go now. This is very, very important. And the devil always fights what is important, but I'll go. But thank God I've done my message. Are you getting it now? Now, when the people of Israel were about to enter the promised land, they, uh, Moses sent two, uh, 12 spies, you know, and then they went to spy the land. Now, they, they went to spy the land. And when they spied the land, they came back. What did they start saying? Was it what God told them that they started saying? Answer me now. Let's no, answer. No. Was it what God told them they started saying? No. What did they start saying? That these people are hired. We have grass of before them. If you put it on just spot out of them. And what have God told them before? That I've given you the land. Go and take over these people. I have subdued them already. But they came back and they are telling God that God, these people are giants. If we go, they don't do. And what happened? God was what? Angry with them. Is it not? But two people were standing. Who? Caleb and Joshua. What did they say? They said, no, 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 no. Don't listen to these people. God says he has given us the land. God says we will conquer them. God says we are victorious. We don't care whether we are, they are bigger than us. But as far as God says we will conquer them, it means that we will what? conquer them. And what did God say about Caleb? He said, this is the guy that is following me. Caleb never do anything, but because he agreed with waiting God talk, God just give up. God gave it to him. And the rest of them, God did what? All of them, they did not inherit the land that God promised. All of them died. God gave them a long time for them to die in the wilderness. So that to be only their new generation, the new ones that will inherit the land. So all of those people that were saying nonsense, they were saying what God did not say. So when you keep calling yourself a sinner, you are like those 10 spies that went to see the land and they are saying what God did not call them. 
do you understand my point? You are who God says you are. Agree with God. Just agree with Him. Say, I am who God says I am. I am who God says I am. Say it to yourself, I am who God says I am. I am who God says I am. If you are the type that have been struggling with drinking, as you, as you are taking the beer, keep telling yourself that I am the righteousness of God. Are you getting me? I am the righteousness of God. As you are taking the beer, when you buy six bottles, just sit down. I am the righteousness of God. I am the righteousness of God. Then you carry your Bible. I am the righteousness of God. Jesus said it. I am the righteousness of God. Jesus said it. I am the righteousness of God. Do you know what you're doing? You're telling that God to that he's not over you. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Are you getting my point? As you keep saying that and as you keep believing what God has done, he keeps working inside of you. A time comes you will no longer have a desire for that prayer. Are you hearing me? I'm not saying you are going to continue the prayer forever. A time comes because he does the spiritual circumcision as you read in Colossians now. It is not you that do the circumcision. In the old covenant, it is up to them to do the circumcision. And if they don't do it, they are killed. You remember when Moses was going to fulfill God's covenant, uh, promise? He was going to Egypt. And then he was just bouncing like a man to fulfill God's will. He was just going. Before I know, he see angel with sword. Then wife saved her that night. <laughs> because he never do what he's supposed to do. There's something he was supposed to do. The same God that called him now, Moses man deliver him now. The same God one kill him that night. Because he has not done it. There's something he needed to do. In the old covenant, you have there's a requirement for you. It's your efforts. Your effort will have to maintain your work with God. It's your effort to enjoy the promises, the blessings. But no, that's not how it is now. All what you got to do now is to believe and agree what God says you are. Just as anything God says you be, just say yes, brother. You understand? Not to be saying, oh, God, you should say I'll be righteous. See, if I don't do this nonsense thing, now you say I'm righteous. <laughs> no. Just agree to what he has said you are. And then, because you agree to it, huh, you give Jesus the opportunity to go inside you and do the circumcision inside. Are you getting me? As he does the circumcision in, inside, it manifests outward. Are you getting me? But you, you were trying to do it outside so that it go inside. It doesn't work that way. You want to change yourself outside in. Are you getting my point? You want to change, I'll go now. You want to change outside in, but God wants to change inside out. Do you get the summary now? Do you get the summary now? So it is not you trying to change yourself. Allow him to change you from the inside out. Because by the time you start giving yourself 10 rules not to drink again, it's not because you don't want to drink again. It's because you are just trying not to drink again. But when you see the drink, that desire is still there to drink. If that desire is still there to drink, that means you have not really changed. Are you saying my point now? Because the reason why you have not drink is not because you don't love uh, you don't love to drink again. It's not because they say man no drink. But when you see the drink, you still want to drink. Have you really changed? Have you really changed? That's what Jesus Christ was telling them. That the law says you should not keep uh, you should not commit fornication. Is it not? And you will say, okay, yes, the law says I should not fornicate. So that means I won't touch any woman. Is it not? I won't sleep with any woman. And to you, you think you've kept the law. But you know, they say, that is a lie, bro. <laughs> you still have the desire inside. Is that not what he was telling them? He said, you still have the desire inside. And because of that desire inside, you have still not kept the law. Because the reason why you are not sleeping with the woman is not because you don't want to sleep with the woman. It's because they say me you not sleep with the woman. But you still want to sleep with her. The desire is still there. You still want to. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord grant us understanding of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. As the president permits me, since I don't have the opportunity to continue now because I have to run home for something, I would, uh, my request has been granted for the right. My request have been granted. I will share this with you on the group chat. 
and I've recorded it to what I'm supposed to share with us, I will share it on the group chat. And by God's grace, first go, the other epistles, if it permits me, I will also share the rest in the group chat. That was the request I was making to the PSS. But now, then, but since the president has called me, so I have the right platform to make the request myself. Is it not good? That's why it's very good. Let's bless the Lord for his work. Just give him thanks for his work.